everyone and welcome to another What I Eat In A Day video. Now I know loads of you like these videos so I had to do another one and obviously I eat foods every day so it makes sense and it's quite easy for me to do a What I Eat In A Day. Um, at the moment in England it is absolutely boiling. I think it's the hottest summer in my life, like literally. I don't think the UK has ever been this hot since I was born and with that means that I don't, I found it really difficult. I've struggled to know what to eat. Um, because I just can't be bothered to cook a lot of the time. So as per usual, everything is gluten free and also everything is low FODMAP. That's just how I eat, that's how I rock and roll. So obviously, a what I eat in a day video about me is gonna be gluten free and low FODMAP. Um, yeah, I just kinda wanna get started because my belly is a rumbling. So first up, I'm going to be making some breakfast blueberry pancakes. Oh, and before I forget, all the links to the recipes will be down below in the description if you want to check them out or cook along. So here's everything I'm going to need to make my blueberry pancakes. Only five ingredients. We need an egg, some gluten-free baking powder, some gluten-free self-raising flour, some milk, this is lactose-free milk, and some blueberries, of course. So firstly, I'm putting in my gluten-free self-raising flour, gluten-free baking powder, and then just give it a bit of a mix. And then I'm just going to put this to one side. And now I'm going to add one egg to my milk. And now I'm going to bring my bowl back into the action, make a little bit of a well in the middle, and then I'm just going to pour the whole lot in. It's time just to get my whisk on. So I've given it a really good whisk and it's kind of thickened up quite a lot to like, I don't know, just a, a thicker consistency. You might be able to see that here. It doesn't look so liquidy and milky as it did before at least. So now I'm going to add my batter about a spoonful like this right in the centre. Add my blueberries and now I'm going to flip. Okay, so that's done. So I'm going to get that out, put it on my plate, and now I'm going to make some more. breakfast all prepared, eaten and enjoyed. That was so so nice. I love having pancakes for breakfast. It's it's probably my favourite thing. Um, so now I just need to do a little bit of tidying up. Then I'm going to post my first Instagram of the day because that's sort of, I just have this sort of ritual that I have my breakfast, I go and brush my teeth and then I put my Instagram up. So that's what I'm going to do. Then get on with a bit of work and I guess I will see you guys at lunchtime. So I'm back and Peggy is here too. She wanted to say hello. She's had her lunch already. How was it, Peg? Oh, just licking me. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's lunchtime for me now. I don't like to have something too heavy for my lunch. I like to have something quite light. And one of my favourite things when I want a light lunch is not to just go for like a salad, because I'm not the biggest of salad fans just on its own, but I like to go for an omelette. So I'm going to make, well, I don't know if it's called an omelette or a frittata. I sort of, it's an omelette that I put onto the grill. So yeah, I'm going to make an omelette um, and I think I might make a reasonable size one so that I can halve it and have it with Mark as well and have a bit of salad with it. Um, yeah. Okay, so very simple. My ingredients for my omelette slash frittata. Um, firstly, need some eggs. Need some ham. I've gone for some smoked ham here. Some chives, the best ingredient in the whole entire world for every single meal, except maybe like a, a cake or something. Um, some lacto-free mature cheddar cheese and some spinach. So first up, I'm going to crack in five eggs into my jug. Then I'm going to add a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. Give that a bit of a beat again. And then I'm ready to start my omelette. So firstly, I'm going to add a handful of spinach to a pan that's got a bit of garlic infused olive oil in it. And I'm going to let that wilt down. And now I'm going to pour in my egg mixture on top of the spinach. So my ham, I just sprinkle that all around. Have as much ham as you want, or whatever topping you want to be fair. Like I really like ham, cheese, chive and spinach, but you can put anything in. So then at this point, I also chop some chives into it using my herb scissors. So the bottom of the omelet is now all cooked. So just before I put it under the grill to brown off the top, I'm just gonna add all my cheese. And now it's just a matter of putting this under the grill. Oh, that looks good. Well, that was delicious. I 
absolutely love having an omelette for lunch. It's so light um, and it doesn't fill me up like ridiculously, but it satisfies my hunger needs, I guess. Um, but this afternoon, we are just going to both go outside and enjoy the sunshine. I think we're going to go for a walk. Probably can't take Peggy with us because it's a bit too hot for her, so she will have to stay inside, even though that will make her very sad. And then I've got to do a little bit more work. I've got a bunch of emails to do, as always. And then this evening, not this afternoon, this evening, we are going to have a barbecue. I'll show you how we make it all and prepare it all. It's really, really simple. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and enjoy the sunshine and I'll see you for that barbecue later. Okay, so it's barbecue time, isn't it? Yes, the weather's still good. <laughs> the weather is very sunny, very hot. Um, and Mark is gonna show you now what we are having for our very gluten-free, very low FODMAP barbecue. Basically, I'm gonna barbecue pineapple fingers. Yep. And then I'm gonna put them with maple syrup and cinnamon. Perfect. Which is just, it's weird. You, but it, you absolutely me, love it, don't it's you? It's good. Okay. Um, then obviously we've got chicken with the skin on. Um, and I'm just putting a bit of oil over this so it doesn't stick. And then salt and pepper and that's it. Next, this is our veg. Because we've been getting into doing veg on the barbecue. Yeah. So I've got aubergine, courgette. Or eggplant and zucchini. Yeah, that's what I... I that right? Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, I'm going to make turkey burgers. Okay. But obviously turkey is really plain. So I'm going to put sun-dried tomatoes in there. Basil in there. Salt and um, pepper. Salt and pepper, bit of flour, gluten-free flour to hold them together. My plain gluten-free flour. Um, and some oil so it don't stick. Um, this is basically, well it's not finished obviously, it is for a low FODMAP coleslaw. This is just grated carrot, some like shredded cabbage and some chives and then I'm going to mix it up with some um, low FODMAP mayonnaise and some Dijon mustard, some lemon juice, that's it, and a bit of salt and pepper and stuff. So I guess I'll just leave you to get on with it. And maybe we'll catch up when the barbecue's going. Yep. So are we almost done? We are nearly there. Yes. So we've got, what have we got? The burgers. How good do the burgers look with the, burgers, the lines on them? They look really good. And then we've got the pineapple over there. The chicken's all done over there. Courgette and aubergine there. And then that's, oh, I've done my coleslaw inside. Oh yeah. And then I just need to get my burger bun. So, you seem to have ordered quite a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, this is about the right amount just for me. Just for you. I didn't realise you were eating too. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the meat plate. <laughs> the meat plate. Okay, so what's here? Sun-dried tomato and basil turkey burgers. And only a small amount of sun-dried tomato in yes. terms of low FODMAP. FODMAP friendly amounts. FODMAP friendly, of course. Um, amazing salt and pepper chicken. Salt and pepper is so good. That's all you need. Yeah, it really is. Okay. Um, herbs de Provence veg. Yep. Just Courgette great. and aubergine. Yep. Just great. Looks good. Caramelised pineapple with cinnamon. Perfect. Maple syrup. You made this and it looks bloody awesome. Yeah, a low format carrot slaw. Um, and then some rocket. <laughs> you just need it. And then finally, I've just added an, added, added an addition. Um, oh, that was hard. Uh, and this is some lactose free uh, mozzarella. So I think I'm going to get my plate and just pile it high and uh, definitely go and construct my burger because that's what I'm excited about today. This is our our low fog mat barbecue. Yep, let's dig all, in. All made by him. I take all the credit. Yeah, let's let's go and eat. There you go, that is what I have eaten today. And the day is still continuing because it is so nice and sunny. I can't believe it's sunny at this time of day still. It's ridiculous. I love this time of year so, so much. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed um, hanging out with me today, seeing what I've eaten. Um, if you wanna check out the recipes, as I said earlier, link in the description below. 
And yeah, I'll be sure to do another one of these videos very soon because I know, I know some of you like them. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, go up here and check out my Instagram because you'll see lots more of what I eat in a day out there on my Instagram story and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's all for now and I'll see you again soon. Bye. So I'll just talk slow